Yesterday I was at a state level work group and um, per usual I was reminded how important Maver Me is to the public sector. There was a lot of angst in the room and a lot of desire to have uh, social campaigning work, social marketing work, and everything in between to really reach the populations that uh, in this case, in this programming, <clears throat> is really public health based programming to reduce disparities and uh, I had to respectfully raise my hand as I have for the last two years. Yesterday I was at a California Reducing Disparities uh, work group in Oakland and I was uh, very much reminded of how important Maver Me is to the public sector. And uh, there was this call in the room for this social campaigning and the social marketing and reaching people with social media. And I suddenly had a moment where I remembered why there has been such a push to have Maver Me happen now. And the reason is being is I've spent two years at these work groups with the state and with other major, major organizations um, in California and nationwide telling them that they provide all this technical support to their grantees and to communities, but what they're not providing is any technical support in marketing and communications. Now I stray away from using the word outreach, not because it's a bad word, but because I feel it's been diluted in the field. Um, I spend a lot of time in webinars and organizations talk about all this great outreach they're doing and that they met with partners and donors and politicians and all I can ever hear in my head is what about the community you served? What about the people you serve? How do they feel? What do they look like? I know there's a lot of quantitative data perhaps in these studies, but what was the impact there? And what part do they play in the program going forward? Because the communities themselves uh, play a part in the success of programming, especially when it comes to public health, but really in all areas of uh, the public sector. And so yesterday I had to raise my hand as I have for the last two years, but this time I said, you aren't providing this technical support to your communities and so they don't know how to reach their populations effectively. And all I'm hearing around the room is that that's a huge need from the 50 people that were in that room. And so I had to go out and do it myself, which is what we're creating Maber Me to do. We're creating Maber Me to provide a place for agencies, um, both public and private, but this is a huge, there, there's a huge impact in the public sector for them to learn how to reach their populations effectively and communicate with each other, which is the other hugest uh, message I got yesterday is this talk about building websites for people to communicate and to learn about best practices and to know what other communities are doing that works. Um, and so Maybe Me really addresses both of these issues and it allows organizations across the board to have these marketing skills accessible to them because for a mass, vast majority of agencies, hiring a marketing consultant isn't uh, in their budget and I'm not sure how all effective it is um, over the long term if their staff and if that agency doesn't know how to tell its story well. So you'll be getting more testimonials over time of uh, this idea of social marketing and the importance in both the public and private sector. Uh, and everyone I've met, they want to be inspired, they want this information, and they want to learn, and they want to communicate with others. And so that is part of the reason that we're providing Maver Me. And I feel it can really have, I call myself a social entrepreneur because this to me really could have a social impact and can really allow agencies to do better work, um, even better work, and to have an even larger impact on their populations.